morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Dunedin High School 2019 commencement. At this time, please stand for the entrance of graduates and remain standing for the presentation of colors by the Dunedin High School Naval Junior ROTC, the Pledge of Allegiance, and the National Anthem, and the Dunedin High School alma mater. And now, the graduating class of 2019.
Gentlemen, please remove your mortarboards for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing while the senior choir leads the national anthem and the Dunedin High School alma mater. Please be seated. The Dunedin High School Pipe Band will now play Amazing Grace.
Now the principal of Dunedin High School, Mr. Kyle Johnson. Thank you, Ms. Mitchell. Good evening, seniors, families, guests. I would like to thank our Dunedin Highlander Band under the direction of Mr. Rad Bolt for a wonderful, outstanding processional. Our NJROT Color Guard under the command of Captain James Fascinelli for the presentation of colors. Our choir under the direction of Ms. Kara Mulholland um, for our national anthem and the alma mater. And lastly, our amazing pipers for that rendition of Amazing Grace. I welcome everyone here to our, procession, to our graduation ceremony tonight. I'd like to introduce our platform guests. Start with school board member, Miss Eileen Long. <laughs> Superintendent of Pinellas County Schools, Dr. Michael Grego. <laughs> the Area One Superintendent, Mr. Ward Kennedy. <laughs> City Commissioner Heather Gracie and her husband, Drew. Um, Mayor Julie Bujowski, <laughs> City Commissioner Ms. Deborah Kynes, <laughs> and City Commission Mr. Mrs. Mo Freeney. Sorry, Mo. It's an amazing thing to have the support from our city that we get for all these dignitaries to be here to support our school and our kids tonight. And I thank them all very, very much. At this time, I'd like to honor and recognize a few other people here on stage. The people that, without them, I could not keep Dunedin High School running. That's my assistant principals. Dr. Nicole Gallucci. <laughs> Mr. Christopher Settle. <laughs> Ms. Stephanie Davis. <laughs> and Mr. Matthew Warner. They are definitely a great team that have helped these young people go through Dunedin High School and be here tonight. I also want to acknowledge our counselors who are still upstairs working, making sure that everything is set for as soon as graduation is done. That would be Ms. Updegraff, Ms. Fostertag, and Ms. Sermon. They are amazing. Also, I'd like to recognize Dr. Park and Ms. Foley. They were chosen by the senior class to do the reading. You'll see them later on. They'll be reading all of these names. Flawlessly, they promise me. Graduates, platform guests, faculty, parents, friends, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to this commencement exercise of the class of 2019. In my opinion, this is by far the best graduation ceremony in the state. And it's not because we're at Ruth Eckerd Hall. It's not because we have these amazing pipers, and if you don't tear up at Amazing Grace, I don't know. But it's because of them. They are the best. It is a great privilege to serve them and the community as principal at Nadine High School by any measure, a premier high school in the state of Florida. Seniors, I want you to think about it. Four years ago, you guys were just walking in the door. Most of you are about a foot shorter than you are now. And you know, now you're about to graduate. Our students have the uh, honor of sharing the floor here with another group of individuals that have had a very significant role in their lives, the teachers of Dunedin High School. Without exception, they are one of the most dedicated groups of teachers and educators that I have ever been blessed to work with. Teachers, would you please stand up and be acknowledged. <laughs> Seniors, as you move on through your life, please, Take time to go back to your elementary school teachers, your high school teachers, your middle school teachers, and let them know just what type of impact and what they meant in your life. 
Today, you are, I really, this is not working for me. I gotta turn a little bit. Today, you guys are going to receive your high school diploma. And as you gaze down on your name embossed on it, you will recognize that your parents, your guardians, your loved ones have given you a lot of support, encouragement, and guidance, which led up to this day. I know for certain without them, many of you would not be sitting here today. Seniors, please. Let's show them a round of applause and appreciation here for your parents, guardians, and all those that have helped you along the way. The experiences you have had at Dunedin High School have provided a foundation to take you anywhere that you dream to go. You possess a unique set of skills, talents, and passions to not only become successful in the years to come, but more importantly, to make a difference in society and in the lives of others. Continue to develop these gifts to preserve the successes each of you are feeling today. Whether you're headed off to college, university, workplace, the armed services, please always remember, never stop learning. As I look out at you today, I see many seniors who have overcome some tremendous challenges. A lot of you that have endured tragedy, and you are now here as graduates. All you have demonstrated is a commitment to hard work to achieve this moment. A high school diploma is not a right for those to attend high school. It must be earned. Requirements for high school diplomas today have never, ever been higher in the past. You have, your accomplishment is a great one and most, most worthy of a commencement ceremony like this one. One of the greatest lessons taught in high school is that hard work and challenging yourself to accomplish the things that you didn't think you could do and to have that persistence to know that you can achieve great things. Today is a testament that each of you can accomplish anything you wish and you will be able to succeed in life that lies ahead of you. This senior class has eclipsed many of the heights of previous classes. You guys are truly in a class of your own and I'm not gonna take a few minutes to go through just some of the accolades that you have earned in this last year. 12 of our graduates today have earned their AA degree from St. Pete College. <laughs> 185 have taken an AP or a dual enrollment class, and many have earned up to a year of college credit. <laughs> there are seniors graduating today that are going to, in the next coming weeks and months, go into every branch of the armed services. Six of the 13 seniors from NJROTC are graduating here, will be starting a career in the military. <laughs> this senior class has 38 National Honor Society members, as well as 14 students graduating with, um, that have been in the Spanish National Honor Society, four graduating from the Math National Honor Society, five graduating from Tri-M, the Music National Honor Society, seven international thespians, and 10 from our Technical Art Society, which is brand new this year, and four from our Art Society for um, art. They're amazing kids. Four of the seniors here earned their AP capstone diploma. 74 of the students are graduating as part of our fundamental program. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this group of just under 300 seniors have done over 8,000 community service hours. Eight seniors are graduating with certifications from our ARC Academy with their AutoCAD certification. That is some accomplishment. Two have got their Revit certification and three their NCCR certifications. They can go right out into the business world and be successful right now, but all of them are planning on moving on with their education. Fifteen of our cosmetology students have earned their Cosmo course completion diplomas and will be taking their state licensing exam right after um, right after we graduate. <laughs> 10 seniors passed their Serve Safe Industry certification. That doubled the number that did last year. They can walk right into some place and you know you won't get hepatitis A. 41 students in our Business Academy 
are graduating with their Microsoft, Microsoft and or their Photoshop industry certifications. <laughs> 15 of our art students earned gold or silver keys in, re in regional and national competition. They have their, dis their work has been displayed in over a dozen um, museums around the area, including the Dolly and the Dunedin Fine Arts Museum. <clears throat> our dedicated Ladies of Dunedin and our Interact Club raised over $1,000 to support kids in Ready for Life. Those are students that are aging out of the foster care system and need some support. That's very important because a lot of them come from Dunedin High School that our kids are helping. As you can tell, we have a very, very giving group of students. Our Spanish Honor Society had a food drive collecting food and supplies to help the cities in the panhandle after Hurricane Michael. They also had a winter clothes drive for the Hispanic Outreach Center in Clearwater to help families in need. You saw our chorus out here. Our Falconers earned excellent ratings this year at district contest, and our Madrigals earned superiors. The chorus was again accepted to the Disney Candlelight Processional, which is a very difficult thing to get into now because Disney has shortened the number of performances and it brought in more people from out of state, yet our chorus continues to excel and be accepted to that. We had, yeah, it's, it's an amazing program if you've never seen it. Four seniors were in the all-county choir, and if the choral competition for solo and ensemble, three of our seniors earned superior and two earned excellent ratings. Just a banner year for our chorus. And Miss Mulholland, who also teaches our theater, had four seniors earn superior and two earn excellence in district thespian competition. Only three bands in all of Pinellas County, private and public schools, earned superior ratings at both marching band and concert band competition. We were one of them. Three of our seniors were in the all-county band. Eight band seniors went to solo ensemble competition. All eight earned superior ratings. Three of them went on to state to earn superior ratings, and a bunch of our seniors were in the percussion ensemble that went to state competition and heard the po highest possible rating of straight superiors with distinction. That's hard to do. NJROTC, that unit led by the officers that are in this senior class to help Dunedin High School students save over 500 lives by organizing blood drives where the students and staff donated over 170 units of blood. <laughs> NJROTC also did a food drive. That food drive had over 2,100 pounds of food for the Dunedin Cares Food Bank, which is right across the street from the school. That makes up over 10% of their annual donations. And also, for the third year in a row, the U.S. Navy's Unit Achievement Award was presented to the Dunedin High School ROTC program. That shows that they are one of the top 30% in the country. Okay, we're still, we're getting there. Um, volleyball, volleyball played for a third consecutive different championship this year. Our softball team finally overcame their nemesis of the last three years and won a district championship. Our, diver, our divers were amazing this year. We had three divers that qualified for state competition. We had Pinellas County School um, Boys Diver of the Year, and two of the divers finished in the top four in the state. Amazing. <laughs> Our wrestling team had a district runner-up in both individual and dual competition. And that's amazing because wrestling has very few divisions, so we were going against schools twice our size, and yet we were district runner-up. 
We had four individual champions in districts. We had four PCAC champions, that means Pinellas County Schools champion, and one regional champion. Two of our wrestlers went to state, one earned second place and one earned sixth. That's pretty amazing. Our girls soccer team advanced to the district championship and then advanced to the regional semifinal game for the first time since 1997. Way to go. We had head coaches that were recognized also because of the hard work of our kids. In football, basketball, and soccer, our head coaches were named to coach the all-star teams in Pinellas County. <laughs> 44 students made all county teams. 10 athletes signed athletic scholarships to play sports in college. That's pretty amazing. And senior Chris Johnson was awarded the prestigious Mandy Stoll Athletic Scholarship from the state, the FIAAA organization. <laughs> Dunedin High School, athletics are important, academics are more important. Our students ended up, all of our teams, with a 3.189 GPA. That puts us in the top 20 in the state of Florida. And last but not least, the baseball team won another district championship, and they advanced to the regional finals for the fifth year in a row. They epitomized great on the field, great in the classroom. That team had a 3.274 GPA, putting them in the top 10 in the state. By the way, we want to see all of you tomorrow night at Frank Tack Park. We are playing in the regional championship at 7 p.m. And to our soon-to-be graduates, the Dunedin administration wants you to be there for the baseball team. We have purchased 30 tickets that you guys can have for free. You're going to have to get up in the morning, but you've got to come and see Mr. Uh, Mundros in the morning. We've got 30 free tickets for your first come, first serve for tomorrow's game. But we want to pack that place. We want to show them our Falcon pride. Made it through without turning up too bad. Um, our senior class as a whole received just under a million dollars in scholarships. That's a real reflection of the qualities of these young individuals. In your program, you'll notice academic distinction re referenced next to some of the students, uh, the graduates' names. We had 27 graduate with distinction, which means they have a cumulative weighted GPA of a 3.2 to a 3.5. That's with distinction. 43 of our students are graduating cum laude. That means they have a weighted GPA of 3.5, but less than 3.8. 13 students are graduating magna cum laude. That means a 3.8 to a 4.0. And lastly, 41 of our students are graduating summa cum laude. That means they have got a weighted GPA over 4.0. Seniors, I could go on listing your accomplishments for a long, long time. But I got to tell you, you're an amazing class. Um, it's been a joy having you on campus for the last four years. And on behalf of the faculty and staff at Dunedin High School, we are proud of each of you. You have definitely earned the right of passage. This class of 2019 will always hold a special place in our heart. Ms. Mitchell. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Senior choir members, please rise and make your way to the front of the stage. The Dunedin High School Senior Choir vocalists will now perform Home, arranged by Philip Phillips.
Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce to you four outstanding seniors who will address the graduates. First, the senior class president. Second, the student government president. Third, our Dunedin High School salutatorian. And fourth, the Dunedin High School valedictorian of 2019. May I present to you to share her thoughts, the class president of 2019, Ms. Ryan Fisher. On my first day of freshman year, I was so nervous that my grandparents were going to forget that I was there, I started walking down Pinehurst Road. They found me about five minutes later and just picked me up there. It happens. Truthfully, I don't really remember anything that happened my sophomore year, especially the first day, because no one really wants to remember their sophomore year at all. <laughs> my first day of junior year, they give us little printed schedules. I followed the one that they gave me, like a good person, and I ended up with two more absences in two of my periods for the rest of the year. My first day of senior year went perfectly fine. The first week went perfectly fine. And it makes a lot of sense now because the next Monday, I was walking to class, and I fell in a hole, sprained my ankle. <laughs> for the past 13 years, we've been making impressions on those that have been around us. And while we'll continue to make them for the rest of our lives, we've already made some of the most important ones. We've done our first science projects, we've read our first books, procrastinated our first essays, we've had our first last days of school. We've met our first best friends, our second ones, our third ones, and you get the idea. <laughs> All of these impressions have led us to where we are today and where we're going tomorrow. We've all had our journeys and obstacles to overcome and people who have helped us along the way. Since I'm lucky enough to stand here today and tell you about my time in high school, I would like to thank some of the people who helped me. First, I would like to thank my parents and grandparents for being the driving force behind my entire high school career. I call you guys crazy a lot, but I truly would not be on this stage without you guys, and I thank you for that. I would like to thank Mr. Kyle Johnson and the rest of Dunedin High School's administration for keeping the school running smoothly and constantly working to benefit the student body. I would like to thank both Mr. Ian Black and Mr. Rad Bolt for their time spent with the Dunedin High School band and the people within it. Your presences are influential to everyone you meet and I'm glad that I was one of them. I would like to thank Dr. Park and Mr. Kane and Montgomery for being two of the best teachers and academic team coaches that I've ever had. Even if half of our time was spent watching Dr. Park teach Mr. Montgomery how to pronounce the 70% of the words that he didn't know. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, I would like to thank Mr. Michael Alway. Not only have you been my favorite teacher for the past four years, but you've also been my shoulder to cry on, my standing counselor, and have shown me that a great teacher doesn't only teach. This year, we have decided that for our senior gift, our money was best spent donating it to our school's Best Buddies chapter so they can begin planting a new garden in the 2019-2020 school year. Our hope is that future members of student government and other organizations will help to start and upkeep this garden. One of the truly unique things about Dunedin is its overwhelming sense of community and willingness to come together for a common goal. Therefore, we are sure that this garden is truly a chance to start something beautiful and inclusive within our school. Each and every one of us have worked hard to put our lives on the track that we want to be on. Whether our first step was being accepted into the college of our dreams, setting a date to leave for basic training, or even just getting to sit here on this stage today. We've made as many first impressions as we can fit into this chapter of our lives, and as we graduate today, we make our last. As we get ready to start a new page, a new chapter, possibly even a new book, I wish all of you the best of luck as you move on to make the best of your lives. It is now my pleasure to introduce the president of the student government, Ms. Maxine Rivera. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the class of 2019, I would like to welcome faculty, alumni, friends, family, and honored guests to this year's commencement of Dunedin High School. To my fellow seniors, congratulations. We made it. I'd like to begin by saying that I am beyond grateful for the opportunity to have attended Dunedin High School. Within the walls of Dunedin, I have grown as a person thanks to friends such as Cormac and Joey, teachers, and other individuals that I'll remember for the rest of my life. 
As a freshman, I remember thinking of graduation as a day that would never come, in a future far away. But today is the day. Sometimes you don't realize you're in the good old times until they're over. Now that we're here, it's difficult to confront the fact that we have to transition into something new, which is why this speech was written the day before it was due. <laughs> As a fresh, oh sorry. Time is a treasured commodity, and my time at Dunedin has most definitely been a treasure I will cherish for most of my life. If I'm being honest, my years as an underclassman are a blur, but senior year has closed off what has been the craziest years of my life. It was a year that had all the action of my past years packed into one. I wish the moments were on tape and I could just hit rewind. My stomping grounds was room 308, Dr. Park's class. I spent a majority of my school day in there and a family formed as a result. We were just a bunch of kids who became friends because we had the same classes, but these friendships grew stronger into bonds akin to family, and I wouldn't trade them for the world. We sang shallows at the top of our lungs, laughed so hard at Hannah that we started to cry. We even planned to conquer AP research together. Keyword conquered, or sorry, keyword planned. <laughs> Best of all, we shared the company of each other. In this room, our worries disappeared and it was all just fun. Every student here has gone through their fair share of obstacles. Ms. Foley and Dr. Gallucci would know because they were the ones we ran to when anything went wrong. We've been through it all. Boy drama, girl drama, broken friendships, failed tests, college apps, decisions, you name it. But in the end, our hearts repaired and we grew from it. Dunedin High was a place where I knew I could always talk to someone. I felt such a strong sense of community at this school. Being able to spend so much of my time in a place where I felt like I belonged was a gift. I'd like to thank my mom and dad for their endless support. Sorry for the late nights out. Thank you to my sister, Sam, for being a great role model. Thank you for always pushing me to do better and be better. Thank you to my best friend, Izzy, for being my person. I could not imagine this life without you. Thank you to all my friends for being a part of this journey with me. And a special thank you to Dr. Park for putting up with me for a solid three years. I'd like to end with a quote from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you can miss it. As we enter this new season of life, I encourage all of you to embrace every moment. Leaving Dunedin is bittersweet, and though I am thrilled for what's next, I can't help but think that it will never be this way ever again. So moving forward, Surround yourself with the things you love. Spend time with the people you love. Start creating the life you want because life is too short to do anything else. It's inevitable that we will always be saying goodbye to phases of life, but we must remember that endings always come with a fresh new season. Thank you. And now, Salutatorian for the class of 2019, Mr. Raymond Sass. Hi, everyone. Um, there's a lot of people here, so this should be interesting. Um, so my name is Raymond Sass, and it's like the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done in my life. Um, so I want to start with the stereotypical thanking of the people that have meant so much to me over these last few years. I'm going to start with my family. Uh, thank you for pushing me. As, as much as you could to just do what I felt most comfortable with. Thank you for allowing me to succeed and giving me everything that I needed. Um, thank you to the teachers that have pushed me to be the best student that I could be, particularly Mr. Alway, whom I've had all four years and has really given me my love and pushed me to pursue my career or my desired career in college. Um, thank you to my friends for being by my side. Thank you guys. Uh, all these four years and countless things you've done for me. Shout out to Joey. Remember our deal? Um, <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm on the baseball team. Uh, we have a regional final game tomorrow night, as Mr. Johnson said. Uh, so I want to thank you to the coaches as well as the players that have been with me these four years. Shout out to Coach Donald uh, and Coach Ron. Uh, and thank you to all of you guys. It's been an honor to share the field with you these last four years. And I hope endless success for the future for all of us. Um, and lastly, or, well, I'd also like to thank administration. Uh, you guys have done countless things for the school, for us as students. Thank you for everything. And then lastly, I'd like to thank Dr. Park. Uh, I told her I'd mention her in my speech. She'd kill me if I didn't. So Dr. Park, this one is for you. I don't know where you are, but yeah. Uh, 
So now I'd like to talk to the class of 2019. Uh, I promise it won't be too long because I don't want to be up here much longer. And yeah. So, uh, <laughs> but as the great Dora the Explorer used to say, uh, we did it. I know these four years were an absolute roller coaster for all kinds of reasons, regardless of individuality, but for now we can finally take a deep breath and look to our futures, and for that I'm proud. I'm proud of each and every one of us who's getting their diplomas today. Uh, one of my favorite things is being able to witness the success of others and being able to see, uh, and looking around this room, it's filled with nothing but successful individuals today. Uh, I know everyone has a different plan for their future, whether it be attending college, uh, going into the armed services, joining the workforce, or doing whatever makes them happy in life. Uh, regardless of where life takes you, as Ralph Waldo Emerson said, the only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. So be the best you that you decide to be. Everyone graduating today has infinite potential for greatness, and I can't wait to, say, to, wait to see what the future holds for us all. Um, a lot of things to say, but I just want to end with a reminder that our regional final game is tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. <laughs> uh, we'd appreciate all the support we can get. We don't have a big crowd, and we're hoping to win it and move on to states in a couple weeks. Thank you very much, and congrats to the class of 2019. Go Falcons! It is my great honor to present the valedictorian of the class of 2019, Ms. Hannah Enzor. Good evening, family, friends, teachers, and most importantly, the outstanding class of 2019. First of all, I would like to thank all of my friends and family who have helped guide me to where I am today. Specifically, I would like to thank my mom, dad, sister Carly, and my grandparents for all their love and support, not only in high school, but throughout my entire life, and as well as my close friends, McKenna and Brielle, and my boyfriend, Jack, for always being there to make me laugh and help me through tough times. I could not have made it to where I am today without all of your guidance, and I'm extremely grateful to have all of you in my life. I would also like to thank my outstanding teachers, Dr. Park for challenging me to take new AP classes, and Mr. Spera for pushing me to strive for success every day and go out of my comfort zone. For my first two years of high school, I attended Palm Harbor University High. Though it was a good school, I constantly felt out of place and knew it was not the school for me. It was not until my first semester of my sophomore year that I heard a variety of people tell me about their positive experience at Dunedin, and soon I decided to take a chance and apply. My junior year was my first year at Dunedin High School, and after my first day, I knew that it was where I belonged. Everyone I met was kind and helpful, and I truly felt as if our class was a community who cared for one another. I couldn't have imagined better experiences than the ones I have acquired at Dunedin. From being a part of the volleyball team that earned second place in districts for, two, for our school two years in a row, to dancing at senior prom, I've loved every moment. Four years later, all of our hard work has paid off. I'm sure we're all ecstatic to see what the future will hold for us. Going away to college can seem daunting, but our class has some of the most talented people I've ever met, and I can't wait to see all the great things they will accomplish. We will continue to grow, prosper, and make the world around us a better place as we all go in different directions. After completing four years working hard at Dunedin, it is now time for the class of 2019 to move on from high school as we look towards the future. I'm honored to have been a part of this class that features kindness and integrity, and I'm sure all of the graduates are ready to take this big step in their lives. I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Go Falcons, and congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you, Hannah, and congratulations. At this time, Mr. Kyle Johnson, principal of Dunedin High School, will return to the podium. Mr. Johnson. Were those just amazing speeches? I mean, really. <laughs> well, seniors, this is the time you and your family have been waiting for. Dr. Gallucci, would you please come to the podium? By the power vested in me by the Pinellas County School Board as the Assistant Principal for Curriculum, it is my honor to certify that students before us today have met all the graduation requirements of the Pinellas County School District and the State of Florida. I hereby recommend that Dunedin High School, Class of 2019, now receive their diplomas.
Thank you, Dr. Gallucci. Readers, please proceed with the presentation of graduates. Hannah Enzer. Raymond Sass. Maxine Rivera. Ryan Fisher. Vienna Atoy. Mackenzie Belcher. Michaela Biroca. Joseph Breeze. Sydney Brockman. Suzette De La Cruz Caramaya. Gabriela De Lima. Derek Dormois. Hannah Feingold. Sasha Freeman. <laughs> Emily Griffin. Delaney Hansen. Alizé Jackson. Christopher Johnson. Decker Johnson. Ryan Karcher. Cormac Cavanaugh. Allison Kiefer. <laughs> Nia Kufugazos. <laughs> Viridiana Lopez Lugo. <laughs> McKenna Mills. Yesenia Ortiz Felix. Jessica Ortiz Felix. Kaylee Parker. Christopher Patterson. Lauren Peevler. Ryan Potts. Jasmine Rodriguez. Julia Rodriguez. Jessica Stalter.
Ainsley Steinbrook. Cassandra Urbans. Tyler Vogel. Brianna Wanaki. Lawson Akers. Abdul Hakam Alobidi. Logan Anderson. Shayna Anderson. Nathaniel Archambault. Jalen Arner. Desrian Arnold. Jada Austin. Tari Bailey. Ryland Bandy. Dominic Barada. Alexis Beauregard. Axel Bendoon. Grace Berno Riley. Patrice Berrien. Madison Bank. Kayla Block. Philemon Boy. Bailey Brannon. <laughs> Jonathan Brannon. <laughs> Daniel Bravo Santana. <laughs> Kristen Brewer. Jacob Brooks. Savion Brown. Hennessy Bueno. Rich Bunn. Judith Burcham. Connor Bremen. Summer Bush. Bailey Burns Mitchell. Tori Castleberry. Jennifer Charas.
Jalise Charez Ramirez. Jinju Chavez. Menchin Chen. Emma Clark. Jacob Connors. Christella Cordero Caraballo. Rivers Cowley. Leslie Cruz Caramaya. Carlos Cruz. Brock Cunningham. Connor Cunningham. Salima Daniels. Gabriella Doretta. Landon Dennis. Bailey Dillon. Brianna Dillon. Abigail Dorges. Wendy Donyu Karamaya. Mary Doherty. Doherty, sorry. Leon Duguay. Brianna Dutry. Shaylee Edmondson. <laughs> Amon El Ghazal. Lauren Elliott. Jonathan Espinoza. Lake Fisher. Aliyah Flanagan. Anthony Frakowitz. Fredrickson Frederick. Viridiana Gardner. Matthew Gastineau. Sadie Gibson. Ryan Givens. Brittany Getch. Dariana Gonzalez. Amanda Goodapple. Jolie Gracie. Jolie. 
Gianna Gutierrez. Cody Hyduke. Jamie Harrell. Seth Harris. Omar Hosni. Madison Held. Darian Henderlong. Jose Hernandez. Melissa Hernandez. Ariana Heron. Jonah Hewitt. Marcus Holly. Noah Horseman. Savannah Huff. Philip Hoven David. Jonathan Hubbard. Angel Elas. Angel Jackson. Isaiah Jackson. Jade Jackson. Cambria Jackson. Destiny James. Adriana Jenkins. Jordan Jenkins. Juliana Jenkins. John Janelle. Dominique Johnby. Haley Johnson. Burrell Kabamba. <laughs> Tessa Joyce. Kinsley Jones.
Jared Jones. Tyler Johnston. Isaac Kar Karakalas. Lucas Keller. Amy Kimmermer. Venice Kitchen. Jillian Klein. Jacob Krebs. Kelly Lutleaf, <laughs> Bryce Lawrence, <laughs> Carmen Leach, <laughs> Brianna Lee, <laughs> Brooke Lee. Rayshawn Lee. Rachel London. Lucero Lopez Espino. Adriana Lopez Sanchez. Tasia Lop. Sebastian Launders. Michael Lee. Omani Major Boone. J.D. Marks. <laughs> Nayeli Martinez. Andrea Martinez. Ariana Massey. Gabriella Mayer. Tristan McKinney's. Alec McKinney. Brooke Lamore. Marissa, Marissa Ann Meehan. Malia Maloney. Staudemeyer Menizer. Adriana Mesquite. Diana Mesquite. Josecia Miller. Dante Mitchell. Dominic Malinari. Vincent Moore. Christian Morales. Jasmine Morales. Jonathan Moreno. Reagan Morrison. 
Ryan Moser. Zoe Moses. Rizelle Natnat. Tyler Nolan. Taylor Nolan. Maria Noonan. Gotcha. Javier Nunez. Jared Oliver. Brian O'Neill. Andrew Osborne. Paola Padilla Hernandez. John Parker. James Pasqual. Megan Patakos. Alexia Paul. Timothy Peevler. Ashley Penna Cecilio. Brian Perez Vaquero. Ryan Petet. Angelino Piccarelli Torres. Kevin Pina Barceneras. Dominic Pinheiro. Marco Pinto. Jonah Plum. John Pullman. Christopher Powell. Ryan Powers. Mackenzie Paquette. Magali Ramirez Perez. Tian Rem. Sebastian Rivera. Alana Rohr. Justin Ruiz Rondon. Salvatore Russo. Samuel Rakowski. Cassandra Sanson. Landon Santa Maria. Brooklyn Sapp. Max Schoenfeld. Brian Scrivener.
John Segru. Logan Shelley. Carter Sherwood. Jordan Shields. Elias Shute. Peyton Segrist. Michaela Smith. Juliana Snukas. Timothy Spears. Courtney Spencer. Maxwell Sterling. Pandora Raven Stranbo. Musa Solomon. Amy Sweetek. Clayton Talley. Christian Tapia. Justin Taylor. Jacob Thompson. Jonathan Thompson. Serena Tingling. Carrie Togo. Sierra Torres. Zaria Troop. Abigail Trumbull. Ethan Terman. Randwell Ty. Samantha Underhill. Ariane Vargas. Arturo Vasquez. Victor Vega. Ulysses Ventura Bautista. Brady Warner. Mason Warren. Isabel Whitehead. Alice Williams. Isaiah Witherspoon. Nathaniel Womack. Amani Woods. Penelope Amanis Reynoso. Kiara Yoakum. Edward Yusko. Yeah. 
Jesus Amudio. Alexander Zuniga Aspetia. Would the class of 2019 please stand? By the authority vested in me by the state of Florida and the Pinellas County School Board, I now certify you as graduates. You may switch your tassel. The class of 2019, Mr. Bolt, Mr. Bolt, if you please. Thank you all for being here and have a safe journey home. <laughs>